This is the 2012 Ford Fiesta. It sound, sounds better if you don't laugh while I'm doing the intro. Start the camera. Hi, it's PT from Silter Har and Mark from somewhere Silter else. Har accessories. The rear windshield wiper is on in this beautiful 2012 Fiesta, and I have no idea how to turn it off. So Mark's going to talk to you a little bit while I figure it out. So, I think I got it. You can stop okay. talking. And we are off. We are driving a 2012 Ford Fiesta. It's a little bit smaller than the Raptor we drove <laughs> last week, but that's Sit okay here. because we need small cars. Fuel economy is all the rage these days. Good for the environment, good for things. <laughs> Alright, it's, 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 it's not a bad car. This is the first European car that Ford brought over. Um, good styling on it, as I hope you will see by the pictures that I started the pod point list with. Uh, it's it's great for gas uh, gas mileage. I think it's 35 combined. Over there. Is it 35 combined? Probably. Uh, 2940, that's not bad. Nope. That's not... I mean, it's got some pep. There's a uh, dump truck coming right now, and while I think it's a little peppy, I don't think I'm going to make it in front of the dump truck. Nope, I don't think so. So I'm just going to hold on a minute. Got lots of buttons. Especially with you in the car. Especially with me in the car. Um, I the, the car's empty weight is about 600 pounds less than it is when I'm in the car. <laughs> so I do kill the pep a little bit. But that's fine. There's a voice button over here. I don't know what the voice button does. I think it's sync. Does it sync? Does it have sync in it? It does. It has sync in it. Wait, Not bad. Exit. I didn't understand you. Please sync. Try again. The sync. Cancel. <laughs> All right. So it's got sync in it. I <laughs> sync. Uh, use it. Doesn't understand the word. Exit. Sync. <laughs> um, what else we got in this thing? We've got recycled r rubber on the floor mats and on the door pan panels. We Mar also have... Marco's is a case of beer. Yep, that's right. Got to turn your phone um, off. Black cloth seats, as you can probably already tell that. Yeah, I don't think this comes nice. with leather, but it's okay, they're nice <laughs> seats. But it's priced under 20 grand, which is very nice. That camera's shaking all over the place. Sorry about that, folks. I hope that doesn't... Uh, Ruin everything. It's not it's because it's a bouncy car. Oh. This is the, the Beat series. The Beat series car that... Uh, like I said, it's very popular now. You got the Mazda 2 that we sell as well. It's the same size. Um, There's a new class. Smaller than the Focus, which again is nice, especially if you live in the city. Uh, front wheel drive does pretty well in the snow, I imagine. Although, given its size, it may lose traction a little quickly. I, I don't know. Yeah, and we've done a few of them um, uh, with the RV kits. We put the tow bars in front of them and they tow behind RVs for for a couple that want to tow around a quad. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. And I'm trying to read more of the window stickers because I don't know much about We probably should have read that before we started <laughs> it's driving. It's kind of hard to read it. I don't fit real well on this car. No, I think I'm sitting up a little higher than I need to be. I don't think you can lower it anymore. No, it's just got to go back, right? <laughs> I don't think I'm pushing the right button. Back guy. Oh, a back. Little car. That's better. Now, now I'm cruising. <laughs> Like you <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. All right. Oh, it's as far back as the seat goes. No, wait. I'll switch again. So, what about Peyton Man Manning coming to Denver? What do you think about that? Well, that that is what we call a segue right there because we were just talking about my seat and now we're talking about Peyton Manning. Oh, that's fine. I think Peyton Manning would be all right here in Denver. No. I don't think he's going to drive a Fiesta. I, I doubt it. It's a nice little car, but I bet he can he can get something a little more expensive. These guys start out at uh, I think in the eighteen thousand dollar range. Yep, they do. I just read you can get one race equipped for twenty five thousand dollars now from Ford. So that's kind of fun, a little B spec yeah. car. Put one of these guys sideways in a in a race and have some fun. Now are those still front wheel drive? I imagine they are. I don't think they changed the drivetrain for the, the rather moderate price increase. I would. I would too, but I don't think I could afford to do it. So are we off the Peyton Man Manning subject now? No, we can go back to Peyton Manning. <laughs> are we done with that? Let's talk to Peyton Manning. Or talk about Peyton Manning. 
So I guess Miami is out. Oh, Miami is officially out now. Manning is, yep, not wanting to go to Miami. So it's between a dome or mile high. That's <laughs> pretty much the only thing he wants to go to Arizona for. My only concern with Peyton Manning is I heard an interview last week where the former GM, uh, Bill Polian of Indianapolis, said that he was afraid Peyton Manning wouldn't be able to throw the ball more than 30 yards. I mean, he did have a new neck put in. Or Yeah, but he didn't have a new arm put in. Well, but maybe if they put a new arm in, he'd be doing better. You think they could do that before spring training? But they could maybe. do really cool things. I mean, Wolverine's whole skeleton was new. They did that in like a day and a half. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if we should do that. I think the little claws would get in the way, though. I think it would. It, would, it might pop the ball. Might pop the ball. <laughs> might pop the ball. Did you know that the Royals in England have no last name? <laughs> Look at the Mazda 2 right next to us. Nice little Mazda 2. Not as good gas mileage. Nope. A little slow off the line. I'm beating her. <laughs> I'm getting her. I've got her off the line. I'm around the corner. Oh, I won that one right up to the speed limit. That's it. Um, it's kind of fun to drive. Mile an hour over. It well, is fun to drive. Not going to speed. It is fun to drive. Reckless and irresponsible. They should make a drop top of this. A drop top? <laughs> they should make a drop top. I think that'd be kind of cool. They're from the House of Windsor, the Royals are. But they have no last name. That's really weird. I mean, Prince Charles of Windsor. Who did I read last night about a prince has to quit during drinking because he's going in? or something. You're asking me who wrote an article about the prince not drinking? No, who, which prince didn't? <laughs> I don't know my AP reporters that well. <laughs> no, I don't know either. I mean, Reuters I can do, but AP, I'm done. I'm done with the list. Christiane Amonpour. <laughs> She's from CNN. Or was from CNN. Oh, the Mazda 2's behind us. I bet I can beat her again. I bet we can... Red light. Run, the awkward red we light. We get to a red light, we run out of topics. <laughs> I don't know why. We planned we ahead on topics. We did. But I've run out of my topics. My we topics have. were beards. No. <laughs> the royal family. The royal beards. Yeah, beards was one of my other topics. <laughs> why we can talk about beards. Because we both can't grow them. Yeah, because we both can't grow beards. <laughs> so, Snooky is pregnant. She is. But my light's still red, so I'm going to stay right here for another minute. <laughs> so, what do you think about that? It kind of ruins the whole point of their... Uh, show. Yeah, I think the show dynamic <laughs> it, changes a little bit with yeah. the baby. And they haven't said word if they're going to come back for a sixth se season or not. I don't think they need to. I think that uh, it's pretty well accepted that they're not coming back. Shouldn't she go straight to teen mom? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't she just switch over? I don't think she's been a teen for a long time. But she still lives at home. Do you so smell something? I kind of do. you smell something kind of rubbery? <laughs> it might be the door pin. I am hoping that is the floor panels. <laughs> I most likely it's just uh, a little excess engine uh, degreaser or something burning off. You sound like a salesman. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's fine. I don't know what salesman is. Like. Nothing one. important. No, it's, it's not, not brake, right? No. It's probably not exhaust. clutch. It's probably not clutch because it's an automatic. <laughs> Automatics have clutches? Not the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Not ones that give off an odor. Well, yeah. maybe the automatic just likes to drop it. Could be true. Revs it up to 3,000 RPM and drop the clutch. It's red so. lights at 6. It's peaked out right now at 65. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not it's doing 6,500 RPM on the highway. Oh, speed-wise, I'm doing 65 miles an hour, yeah. But that's because that's the speed limit. And we yeah, over so this we don't want to go. We don't go over the speed limit. Have you ever noticed in, in TV shows how rarely they look at the road when they're driving? It's true. They just sit and they have a conversation. They're talking I couldn't to do that. I can't even fake it. I'm trying right now really hard to fake it, I, but I can't. I wonder it's if freaking they don't, me out. Yeah. I wonder if, if they don't actually drive. You think? If there's like a little per person down here with the wheel holding and they just kind of... No. I think you can say that on national TV. I don't... Well, I, I didn't say it. Or national TV. on TV. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. Freedom of speech. Yeah, but they, I'm, I'm, I've seen the rigs they use, they use trailers and stuff, but you think they would learn to not talk to someone while they're driving. I can't even not look out of the corner of my eye. It's freaking <laughs> I, me out. I, I can't do anything. I, I don't know how pe people multitask and do all the other things they do when they drive. It's scary. 
Yeah, they, they're nuts. Apparently we use our left turn signal to change lanes to the right. <laughs> That's see, the people didn't see that move. That's why I did. So I was trying I to did. be subtle I about did. it. I did. And I, and we not. Just, we just used the improper signal to lane change, but that, that that's okay. At least we used one. I had to pull into this lane because I thought it would be better for the show. Why? Because I didn't want the homeless people knocking on the window. <laughs> that could be. I doubt they're homeless. I think they're well, they're probably not homeless, but I didn't want the people holding signs on the corner of the street here to knock on my window. I'm sure they need help. But I didn't think it would be appropriate. Why do people drive slow in the left lane? I've always wanted to know that. It is one of my most pet peeves. Big, biggest pet peeves. I don't know why. That's round two. That's another case of beer from Mark. <laughs> That's too, too bad I don't drink and you don't drink. Well, but if I did drink, you would owe me two cases yeah, of beer. Yeah, right you should just get beer and then I think, say I owe it to you. I think sit. people drive in the, slow in the left lane because they want other people to drive slow in the left lane. I don't think that's very safe. No, they're not going for safe. They're going for uh, judiciousness. No, no, they think they're they think they know better than you, and so they're going to control the flow. Of traffic. I always wanted to invent like a spatula that goes underneath cars and flips them in a safe way, to where they don't die or flip over, or burn to a crisp. But just what to move them out of the way. What car is what? The van Nissan what is van. That? That's the Nissan van. Yeah. Whoa. It's we don't like those. No, <laughs> we don't like those. That was an ugly, ugly car. Yeah, very bad. But seriously, I haven't seen one of those before. I, I think a spatula to flip cars would be a bad idea. I think it would be a good idea. I'm just going out on a limb here. Well, what other way would you do? I'm not one. A little slower. I'm doing the speed limit. Why do I have to go slower? Because there's a police officer in front of me? I always do that. I was just... So you're the guy that slows down when you see a police officer, even though down. you're going the speed limit. I almost stop. You almost stop. In I'll the left lane, around. no doubt. I'll turn around. We need to invent a spatula for people who slow way down when they see cops. I think so. All right. Do you know the safest place on the highway is behind a cop? They never look in the rear mirror. Never. You mean to get pulled over? But they have, new, newer cop cars have radar both front and, face, and rear facing, do you know that? Yes, they do. And they can also scan light license plates as they're going down the road. I saw an episode of Cops where a girl got pulled over because she was doing like 77 and a 55 behind a cop. The cop kept accelerating to see how fast she would go following him. How's that safe? And then pulled her over. <laughs> How's that safe? It was funny. It wasn't safe. Would you just put your front light lights on and... And let everybody else know that you're about to pull somebody over, even though... Well, the, potentially. I would. I mean, if it's a, a big uh, highway, big empty highway, then it's probably just fine. I, I think so. And then the, the so. girl said, well, I was just going as fast as you. And he said, you're not allowed to go over the speed limit. She said, but you were. He said, I am allowed to go over the speed limit. And then wrote her a ticket. That's like saying I saw somebody get shot, so then I shot somebody. Train tracks. Yep. I don't think it's quite the same, no. I think it's kind of the same. No, because nobody can shoot people. Nobody can speed. Cops can speed. Cops can shoot people. Not unless they're being shot at. Why would they speed otherwise? Because they're being shot at? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You never know. I think we're going to get rid ridiculed again by the same guy. The guy that said we laugh at our jokes? <laughs> yes. Nobody likes us on the internet. Nope. They think we laugh at our own jokes too much. That's fine. Which sucks because if we can't laugh at our I, own jokes, I we try will. to. Well, most of my jokes are kind of like like the, if you will, the awkward times. So if you if you laugh at it, then I kind of lead people to laugh with me. I don't laugh at my own joke. I kind of just start it off because I'm impatient. I didn't understand that at all. I didn't either. I just kind of made it up and rolled with it. The good news is we're back here, and so we're going to drive slowly through the parking lot and look for Greg Larson's keys. Greg Larson is our co-worker, <laughs> and he left his keys on the bumper of his truck. And oh, blamed me oh, for Oh, I kid you not. Right now, Greg Larson is walking through the parking lot. Trying to find most his Most likely looking for his keys. We're going to pull over and see if he's found his keys. Found hey, Greg, did you find your keys? No, I was hoping that's where you guys went to go look. We could. You see? He's looking for his keys, and he hasn't found them. <laughs> I'd actually... Brought it down quite considerably, a couple notches of uh, anger and pent up uh, hate. 
Not Rage. Was, uh, Greg Larson wants uh, wants Mark to burn in hell but more like, uh, for um, jinxing him to lose his keys. Worry and concern inside. So now, now he's starting to freak out. And we can feel sorry for him. Before we were just well, angry this for has him. 40 MPGs, so we wouldn't really consume much gas trying to find your keys all around town. Where's your rap, guys? <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to help Greg find his keys, which are probably very gone. And uh, see you next week.